Hey, 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 good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday morning to you. I'm Robert Kennedy the Third, RK3. That's me, and I am a speaker, trainer, author, and the facilitator, moderator of the Speak Right Now community right here on Facebook. And guess what? I did not schedule this. I did not put out any notification saying I'm going live, but I just decided to because I had something that I wanted to share this morning. So let me actually put a title on screen here so you can see it and see what I'm up to here and, and what I'm going to talk about this morning. Now, I wanted to just speak this morning because, number one, I haven't done a live in a little bit. Well, not since last week anyway. <laughs> All right. And number two, I just wanted to invite you to do something with me at the end of this. All right. So I just I just wanted to go through a couple of things. Let me get my mind and my thoughts together here for a second. The first thing is this. I am what, what I do is I'm a leadership and communications speaker and trainer. What I do is help leaders just like you share stories with confidence and clarity, right? And so I speak quite a bit, but this month, one of the things that I'm concentrating on is writing and taking people through a process of doing nothing with, with the ideas in their head to getting them out. Hey, Sandra, what's going on? She's saying, hey, Rob, I'm just gonna show her stuff. All right, awesome. Now, this month we're doing in the Speak Right Now community a 30-day writing challenge. We're doing a 30-day writing challenge. I'm sending out prompts every day for 30 days, and people are writing based on that. Now, I'm going to put a comment in here. I'm just going to type the link in here. If you have not signed up for this challenge yet, I want you to do that because if you are somebody that has a story, if you're interested in writing, if you're interested in sharing your ideas, okay, this is a great way to kickstart it and get you moving. So I'm putting that comment in the comments area here, and I want you to go sign up for that. All right. Landon, what's going on, my man? Now, today I just wanted to talk to you really quickly about five reasons you should write. Okay. Five reasons you should write. We're going teaching style here today for a little bit. Let me put this on the screen. Now, five reasons that you should write, and I'm going to actually give you a couple of bonuses at the end. All right? Ready? Let's do this. So here's the first one. Here's the first reason. I'm going to put this on the screen. Let me type it in because I can. The first reason that you should write is release. Release. If you go to therapists or counselors, uh, one of the things that they tell you to do is they ask you, do you journal? Do you journal? The reason that they ask you that is because that is one of the ways of connecting with your, you know, your frontal cortex and getting that information outside. You've got stuff all in here, right? And then getting it out down through your fingers into that pen and onto the paper. And then when you can see it in front of you, that is one way of releasing some of the stress and the tension that builds up right inside of here. It's one of the ways of getting things out. And when you have stress inside of you, you've got to get it out in some way, all right? And one of the healthy ways to do that is by journaling or by writing. Some people, they let it get all up in here and you see it in their face and they look mean and mad and they look just annoyed every day, right? So they need release. They need a release in a healthy way that is not going to be illegal, it is not going to hurt other people. So writing is just that. So the number one thing that I want to share with you, that you, one reason why you should write is release. I'm going to share the second one, right? The, the number second one right now, the number two, and let me slow down a little bit so I don't jump jumble all of my words here. The number two is escape. Now, I don't know if you remember when you were a kid, and you had your parents read stories to you at night, right? Bedtime stories. One of the things that you were able to do when they read was just envision or imagine this new world, this new place that you can go off into. So you're able to escape into that. And when you write, 
you're able to do that as well. You can create a world. If you can create your ideal day, where you want to go on vacation, what do you want it to look like? If you can write that and see that out in front of you, that you're able to escape and move into that world, all right? So that's the number two reason, escape. Number three, let me make sure I'm spelling this right. Number three reason, creativity, creativity, okay? Because when you grow up, as I, I was just talking about being a kid, but as you grow, there's something that happens. When you're a child, you're able to share ideas, you're able to laugh, you're able to just come up with ridiculous stuff without the fear. And then you grow up and you get constricted with your ideas, right? And so when you are able to write, especially in the process of free writing, you're able to access that creativity. Again, there's no, there's, there's no judgment from your pen. There's no judgment from your paper. So you're able to move forward and just share what it is that's on your brain, what's on your mind. You're able to just, boom, get it out there. You're able to just write, okay? So that's number three. Number four that I want to share with you this morning really quickly is explore. Explore. When you're writing, you're able to explore. You're doing research. You're checking what others are doing. You're checking what quotes are out there. You're checking what statistics are out there, graphs, tables, charts, what exists. So you're able to explore other places, other things for you to do. So this is all healthy stuff right now. Okay. So that's number four. Number five reason is that you're able to, and I love this one, you're able to inspire. You're able to inspire. Other people are going through stuff. Other people are trying to navigate the path. Other people are trying to figure out their journey and it's challenging. They've got stuff in the way. They've got obstacles and they're trying to figure out how to navigate that stuff, how to get past them. So if you have been able to navigate that path already, if you've been able to work through those obstacles or even if you haven't been able to fully do it, but you're in process and you're bold enough to share what you're going through or how you're doing it or how you're stepping past, okay? That is an inspiration to somebody else, okay? There's a coach friend of mine, April Hunt, that she said this statement and I, I grabbed onto it, said, your story may be about you, but it's not for you, right? You're the star, you're the person that is in the, in, in the starring role. You're getting the Oscar, the Emmy, whatever, OK, but it's not for you. It's for somebody else. So you've got to tell it. You've got to write it in order to inspire somebody else. So those are the first five reasons. But I want to give you two bonuses. All right. So here is bonus number one. Reason number six. How about this? Visibility. Visibility. OK, you've got a lot of people on Facebook and they're putting status posts, status updates and all sorts of different things. And this is it's noise. It's a lot of different things. And right now I'm part of the noise. I'm on I'm on Facebook live and there's just so many things happening. But when you're able to place your thoughts, your ideas on paper, it creates it creates a visibility for you. It creates a place where people know that you stand. It creates uh, and a place where people are clear on, you know, what your opinions are, what your thoughts are, what's important to you, what drives you, right? So, okay, uh, Sandra says I'm breaking in and out. Sorry about that. I I think I'm okay. I've got. Let me see if my internet is fine. Yep, everything's good. I'm on the five G, baby. So <laughs> we should be fine. All right. So. Come back and check the replay. If it's breaking in and out on the replay, then we know it was me. All right. So visibility, creating content is something that's going to be great for you as the writer. But if you have business as well, no matter what your business is, if you're creating content, it's going to create visibility for you because now you're planting yourself as an expert, as an authority, as somebody who cares about a specific idea, theme, thought or feel or industry okay so writing is going to help you to do that telling your story and so that was bonus number one number six was visibility 
And here's the last one. Educate. Last one is educate. OK, when you share your story, when you write your story, you're able to educate. You've got experiences. You've got expertise. You might have gone to school, but you might have just gone through the school of hard knocks. Right. You must you might have gotten beat up and you might have gotten, you know, lumped up. <laughs> Back in the day, that was when, when people got in fights and they got these knots on their heads. People said they were lumped up. You might have gotten lumped up by life. Right. And that was how you gained your expertise. So now when you write about that, others are able to see a, a tutorial or they're able to see a path. They're able to see steps to be able to navigate that journey. OK, so we talked about being inspired before. That's a little bit different. Now, after somebody's in, expi inspired, they've got to get into action. So you're now educating them. You're giving them step by step when you write how to make it through certain places, okay? So that's seven things. And I, here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you a little acronym to hopefully remember some of these as I review them. Okay, so here's my acronym this morning. Ah, receive, <laughs> receive. Here's my acronym, receive. When you write, when, when you write, what you're doing is giving. You're giving something out of yourself. You're birthing something. You're, you're being vulnerable. You're being transparent. You're giving your ideas to that paper. And then when you share them with the world, you're, you're giving. So when you give, ultimately, you're able to receive. In order to receive, you've got to really be a giver. So that is a reason, the big reason that you should write because that enables you to give. Give your story, give yourself to other people so that it can do all of these things that we just talked about. So let's let's go back through these. The first was, the R is release. When you write, you're able to release. The second is when you write, you're able to escape. You're able to put yourself in another world. Third, when you write, you're able to be creative. You're able to exercise your creativity, that creative muscle. Next, you're able to explore. You're able to go and find different bits of information. You're able to find different ideas. You're able to interact with other people. Next, you're able to inspire. People are waiting for you and they're looking for what you're doing with your story, okay? So you've got to be able to write and share that with them. Next, the V for visibility. Create visibility for yourself, plant yourself, as an expert in your field, in your industry, in your experience. Whatever it is, plant yourself, create visibility. And then the last one is educate, okay? Give tutorials, share step-by-step -step ideas of how you're getting to where you're getting, all right? So that's it. Receive, right? So you can give and then you can receive. I want to share more of these with you. You guys should have seen in the comments the writing challenge the 30-day writing challenge i want you to join me in that but i also want to point to you to our facebook community so hold on let me put this here all right i'm putting it in the comments and hopefully you can see that and join up with us hang out with us and Hear some of the stories, see some of the great things that people are writing, see some of the things that people are up to and how they are inspiring others, how they are creating impact in the world with their pens. All right. So that is it for me today. A little bit longer than I actually know, just about 15 minutes. All right. So I actually when you join the community, I want I want to share something with you every Tuesday at 1 p.m we do Q and A. So if you want to learn more about writing or speaking and you are not sure of something, every Tuesday at 1 p.m. we do a Q and A in the group. We've got trainings in there. We've got somebody coming in to talk about self-publishing next week on April 19th. And we just had an amazing webinar last week with Inc. Entrepreneur, writer, Thousand Pro, thousand article prolific writer Gordon Treadgold. That was a part of the community last week, and we're just putting that up 
on the Academy site so that people can access the replay for that. And we'll continue to do that. But we want to grow it. We want to be able to share this I, these ideas with other speakers and writers or, or aspiring speakers and writers, people who just want to be able to share their stories and share them with confidence and clarity. Okay, that's it for me today. Robert Kennedy the third, Art Gate three. That's me. And have a happy Monday. I'm out.